we are are we recording yeah we are officially recording this live from the planet hellmeyer <laughs> <laughs> yeah no kidding i saw <laughs> fire, a fire tornado fire the other tornadoes day. right outside just right outside now. yep it is stupid hot here in london <laughs> What is up, my fellow Helldivers? How are you guys doing today? We are here to talk about a whole bunch of different stuff that happened over the week. I'm joined, as always, by Dutch Butters. What's up? I, what's going on? Not much, man. What's up with you? I feel like it's been like a month since we've done this, and it really has. It's, it's only been, been one week. week. Just like normal. Yeah. But a lot of stuff has gone down. Uh, I was gone all weekend. And, and that's why it feels weird, because it was the 4th of July week. Right. And there wasn't a lot of streaming going on. People were out. Um you were out. I was traveling, camping, whatever it is that sure. you do. Um, yeah, I felt like it was just a long week. So I missed an entire major order on you bot did. side. You did. On bot side, I missed yeah, a major that was, order. That probably really upset. Oh, me. I was so mad, dude. And then, and it was bot side, but it was also the new biome. X forty five yeah. is the, is the Dagoba biome. Yeah. And I'm like, God damn it! I've been waiting to fight on that planet against bots, and I missed it. Yep. And by the time I got back and playing the game, it was already liberated. I, I couldn't even catch the tail end of it. But hey, man, what's up? We won. We did. We won. We came together. We won. A, we won a major order. Got our fifty-five medals. Bought a couple things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's like a fifth uh, ship module now. Now there's oh, there's oh, thirty. So we we need to go back <clears throat> and talk about what happened. Let's go back after last week. Okay. Because as soon as we got done doing the last podcast. That patch dropped, mm -hmm. and that was it was a, it was a kind of a stability patch, wasn't it? But but they also but they they dropped uh, five new ship modules for for high end ship modules. Yep, and, and they're um, expensive. They're expensive as hell, and you know it is vacation time in Sweden. It is. It has been reported that half of the crew at Arrowhead is out on vacation. Not right official. Now. I've I've seen that. I heard that on some different places this morning. Okay. Um, you know all these people people are saying it's like oh man, you know. It's not like the whole studio is going to go on vacation. Just half. Just half. Just half. <laughs> so, you know. Half of 20 people. <laughs> so they're definitely doing some things. Sure. That are trying to prolong their the, the, our, our world so they can do their vacations and, and you know. Giving like we're, we're getting these these long. It feel, feels like we're getting these long MOs. Mm -hmm. Five day MOs. That, that's fairly that's normal though. That's normal. But, you know, the rewards for like these new ship upgrades. What do these things cost? They, they cost a ton. Yeah. Uh, 200 rare samples. Yeah. And like 20 so or 30 super rare. These, these things are absolutely geared to grind out. Yes. Which is what we want. Samples, which is what we want. People are like, I want something to progress towards yeah. and grind towards. Yeah, okay, yeah. 200 rare samples. Fuck oh, you. Oh, Jesus. That's, <laughs> and that's, the that, that's a lot of dick rocks. The, the, cap, okay. the cap is, uh, I think the cap is 200 metal or 200 samples, two, right? Two, 250. Or maybe something, something like that. Yeah. I've never, I've never hit it. So. I have. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. But, uh, um, yeah, I'm glad they did that. Yeah, me I, too. I think it's important. We, we need things to take time to progress you need, towards. You need things to, yeah, exactly, progress and work towards. Yeah. And if they want to give us these these new ship upgrades, make us earn them. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Totally wanna, fine with that, too. Do we want to go over what these are? Do we have a list? I have a, I have a list here. On oh, my good. Phone. I can do this sh ship buffs in the last patch. So I sent you a link if you want to look at it. Um, oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, payroll management system. Reduce... Reduces reload time for all support weapons by 10%. Good. That seems like a... I like that idea. Kind of a big deal. Yeah. 10% on like a... Because some of them, some of those support weapons, it takes like six minutes. 10% mm -hmm. off of that you know, is a good chunk. 30, 40 seconds could be... A, More than that probably. I don't know. Quite a, quite a difference. I'm really, when you're really bad at math. getting crushed by freaking a bunch of different stuff yeah. down there. Um, high density explosives. Increases the damage radius on explosions caused by orbital stratagems by 10%. Nice. You know what cool. needs? You know what? I've I can't believe I'm saying this. Mm -hmm. I think the 500k is not as good. Yeah. And I'm not saying that they've nerfed it or anything like that. I'm just saying like I've thrown a lot of those over the last couple of days, mm -hmm. and they don't do as much damage. As some they of never seem. You want a little body counter down the bottom 
It never does much. It never four, five. Yeah. I'm, I'm, like, get, I'm getting just as many with Eagles. Eagles strafing runs and stuff going in there. I can get like yeah. seven, eight, 12. I got, you know? uh, they just I mean, I was just the 500s just got a bigger boom. <clears throat> it just it's, looks pretty. It's, it's fun. But I don't think it does much. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. Right. So uh, yeah, there's another ten percent uh, advanced crew training reduces eagle arm. It reduces the eagle rearm cooldown by an additional ten percent if called in while you still have eagles uses in tow. Nice. So I guess if you send it in early, it will come back quicker. Well, okay. Hold that on. sounds a little weird. Reduces eagle rearm countdown cooldown by an additional ten percent if called in while you still have eagle uses in tow. Okay. Yeah. So if like, say you're packing all eagles, you got you got the pod strike you got the regular air strike and you got the cluster bombs mm -hmm. but you use most of the cluster cluster bombs you only have like one left and you go in you manually call a rearm mm -hmm. and it's reduced by 10 percent. all right it usually takes two i want to say it takes two minutes and 30 seconds ish yeah maybe a little bit more than that for a eagle rearm so it'll be reduced by a couple you know 10 15 seconds or whatever and let me uh let me run through the there's three more yep um, oh shit! What just Morale augmentation reduces the cooldown timer for all stratagems by five percent. Nice, that's a big one. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Streamline launch process. All support weapons stratagems deploy immediately upon being called in. Oh, nice! So you know how that's sometimes you throw a thing and it takes like ten seconds. So yeah. now it's now it's instant. Okay, I like that. Yeah. You know how you know how long ten seconds is when you're getting freaking like hounded. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a long time. Is there, I thought there was five. There's six of them on this list. Mm. I don't know. Cross-platform compatibility. Uh, mortar sentries, EMS baseline, prioritize target marked foes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So now if I have a sentry and there's a Hulk coming up, I can it'll, tag the Hulk. Prioritize you know, that. Aim that. But nice. you have to tag it though. Okay. That's cool. Oh, that changes things. Yeah. Because now you can set up a mortar and now you can like have it attack the... Like the, there, the striders and stuff. Are there any of these that you want to get before you get the other ones? Actually, what, that, what, are, you, what that, are you grinding out first? Um, by, by grinding, I mean literally grinding. You're grinding. I'm, I'm going to grind probably the <clears throat> cheapest one first. Because you're getting, you're getting, because these, it's all about the samples, the ultra rare samples, right? Yeah. It's all well, about, it's all about, the, it's all about cock rock samples. Cock rock and the, the rare sample, the orange ones. Yeah. The so orange they, ones are the ones that have the most. And then yeah. the, the other ones are like 50. You know, the super sample. So you get what do you get? Three of those per mission if you play above six, sixes and above. Three. Uh, you get six if you play uh, hell divers. Hell divers. Yeah. Well, ugh. that's rough. Yeah. You need a you need a legit team. Yep. Uh, to to rack to rack those but up. I just you know just to just one more time. I, I I like how they've given us a reason to improve your game. Yes. Can't you can't camp out on fours and fives and, and ever get this stuff. You have to get better, and you have to have to play. You have to develop a squad, and, and, a squad. and learn the game a little bit. Yep. It's going to be rough for me because I suck at this game, dude. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Just Terrible. squad up with the AT. <laughs> I do Just all squad the time. up. I do all, all right. the time. So X forty five, the MO was completed. Uh, we got our medals, but this one is interesting. So the the MO mentioned an interplanetary battle station. Yeah. And immediately, as soon as I as soon as they came out with this, there was like seven videos about <laughs> Hell Divers is getting the Death Star. Yeah, and I'm really curious how that's going to play out. I, I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to look into this battle station thing yet. Hmm. That's when I was making the notes. I wrote, "What is the battle station?" Yeah. I have no clue. Sounds like it's the Death Star to me. It, it sounds to me like there is some way to put in some kind of like clan or 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 system where we can all like go dock our ships together. You think so? And, and you know, make a transformer with our <laughs> transformer with our ships. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm talking out my ass. Yeah. But uh, uh, a battle station, that sounds like a, a Death Star. That sounds like something I'm going to go dock my ship onto. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Like everybody meet at the battle station. Yeah. It's floating above this planet. Yeah. And you all go there. Salt yeah. Divers Battle Station 1. Does you think that, everybody's going to get their own battle station? Well, I don't know. Or it's just going to be an in-game. How, how many ultra rare samples we can have to grind to get this thing? To build your own battle station. Maybe we're going to have to put all Whoa. our samples together. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know either. But you know what this sounds like to me? It sounds like it's a, a narrative story. To um, there's another article that you added in here about a fourth faction. <laughs> Are we going to that already? Well, I, I think it has something to do with the battle station. Think uh, about it. Okay. I, don't know. I think I think that I think that uh, that article. It was I think, horseshit. I think it was horseshit. I do too. But I think it's fun to talk about. It's fun to talk about. So the, the MSN 
M- MSN? MSNBC or I can't something. remember. Shit. Anyway, somebody wrote an article about yeah. the fourth faction in Helldivers possibly being a rebel human faction. Yeah. Which, if you've been paying attention to the they game... Don't, they don't like our fascist ways. They don't like the fascist ways of Super Earth. <laughs> and they're rebelling against it. And that's what the the radio transmissions and other things... And obviously, like it's, it's well known, I think, at this point, that Super Earth is breeding the Terminids in order to harvest their oil right. to support the war machine. And the reason why they keep... We're, us, yeah, we're, they're, they're, we're, so we're, we're complicit in everything. Yeah, we're overstimulating <clears throat> the growth of these Terminids so that we can get the oil, but then that, yeah. in turn, leads to planets being taken over by bugs. Yeah. Um, so there's a rebel faction that knows this mm-hmm. and is trying to fight against super earth propaganda with their own propaganda. Yeah. And we are charged as hell divers to go destroy their radio like signals. These, these, it's, it, it's a super earth Antifa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The anti-fascist, the, the anti-fascist super earth people. people. So, yeah. you know. so we're going to be fighting a bunch of blue haired, black hooded plastic bullet shield. Yeah. Gonna have garbage cans for angry shield. lesbians in the fucking yeah. battlefield. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Bunch of feminine boys. <laughs> it's like Just, with with half their hair shaved yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. And they're gonna come at me, guys. I got a gun. <laughs> gonna, Don't look out. <laughs> look out. I'm gonna shoot a paintball at you. I'm gonna throw a jar of piss at you. And then we got the freaking like, hell divers on our side. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're gonna go to we're gonna go to some, some, some Portland, some, Oregon. We're gonna go to some <laughs> planet called Port LA in <laughs> 75 or some shit. Yeah. And it's just, you know. But the joke, so in line with this battle station, right? If you got a battle station, if they're mimicking Star Wars, which they might be, um, it would stand to reason that a rebel faction would try to destroy that battle station. Like so that. we get the plans to build it. And then the new faction shows up <laughs> who tries to destroy it. Are we the bad guy? I, yeah, we're definitely. Am I Grand Moff Tarkin? <laughs> yeah. is, is that what's going on? <laughs> no, man. You're Dutch Butter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's the running Can, joke. It's the whole joke of the sh- of the game is like we're useful idiots for this fascist uh-huh. government. It, yeah, yeah, we, we get it. We know, we get it. It's we okay. Just, we just like to have fun and blow. We shit like up. to have fun and blow shit up. <laughs> I don't give a shit about bugs, um, robots, and robots. Bugs and robots sold this. That's the thing. Us. See, that's the thing. It's like if this article is not full of shit and the 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 fourth faction is legitimately other human beings, I think that changes the game for me a little bit. Yeah, it's a different it's a different feeling. Yeah, it takes away the fun a little bit. Yeah, it's like oh, I'm not blowing up random robots or alien beings or mm-hmm. or, or bugs. I'm, I'm killing other humans. It changes it a little bit. Maybe not much, but a bit. I mean, I'm not gonna have any problem <laughs> blowing up Antifa matter. Okay, it's just I won't. In fact, I might kind of like it the most. That, you know how you like to go kill bots, right? I think I'm just gonna hang out over at Antifa stand and just fuck those guys up all day long. It would not bother me at all. Uh, so, and we're gonna oh, get we're gonna get some hate. Oh whatever. We're, we're gonna get some comments. Don't take anything we say. Seriously. Oh, you know, some asshole in Portland's gonna watch this podcast. <laughs> well, how dare you? How dare <laughs> you? I'm gonna go put more purple dye in my hair right nice, now. Nice hat, <laughs> Trump supporter. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tread on me. Is that the Dutch butters hat. Anyway, no. Uh, <laughs> so. I don't know how I feel about a fourth faction being humans. Maybe, maybe not. I don't, I, uh, I don't know. Maybe. I just, I, I want to get the third faction in the game. I want to get the Illuminate. Yeah, let's get, the, time. Let's get those things it's going. It's time for that black hole over there by Meridian but to start pooping out some Illuminates. Half, half the place is on vacation, man. We're not going to get nothing <laughs> We're not going to get anything August. until August. Not, no, we're gonna, we're gonna, and then hopefully we'll have, they'll have the... Uh, How's the, the social the, tab been? Well, it's not going to be, they, they say it'll be probably out in August. Is it still busted it's, for it's, you? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, we, just, you just and I, this morning, I yeah, that's to, right. You and I couldn't find each other. Couldn't find each other. It says we're both we're literally playing five feet away from each other on two different computers. It's like, hey man, you're not on my social list. <laughs> it, was, it was weird. Yeah, it was just, I had, we had to send each other uh, yeah. Steam messages or something. Something. Yeah, I can't remember how it worked, but but we'll see. Yeah, it's being it's being uh, rebuilt from the ground up, is my understanding, and um, hopefully it'll be out in August after uh, their big long vacation. Do we know what the next MO is or is it not dropped um, yet? As of right now, we were, we were, we're just on standby. It right? just said standby for the next major order. Okay. So we're just kind of out goofing around. I'm, I'm good with that. I like goofing around sometimes. Yeah. I just go to, I think, oh. the, I, think I think the, 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 uh, daily like kill six Titans or six chargers or some shit. I don't know. Cool. Um, I do want to say before we move on to the loadout of the week, um, uh, if you're on bot side and we just took X45, don't just fuck off to bug side yet. Yeah. You, you got to stay over here and go take the next planet next to X45 in order to prevent X45 from being 
uh, taken it, over it, again. Yeah. Because what happens is we do, oh, we took the planet, yay, and then we fuck off somewhere else, and then we come back and we have to liberate the same goddamn planet again. Yeah. We have to go one step over and take that planet, which is open. I was just playing on it this morning. It's a snow planet. I can't remember the name of it. Maybe Vega Bay or something. That where we were screwing around. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if we take that one and liberate it, then X-45 will remain safe and we won't have to go back to it. But if we leave and then we get another attack on the bot side, X-45 is going to be taken and we're going to have to go right back to it. Let me see. I got Helldivers IO up right now. Do you? Let me, is there anything popping up? Let me refresh it. See if there's a new daily or a new major. Um, personal order. Kill eight Terminid. So that's the Bile Titans. Yeah. And... Um, there's no, no major order. No major order right cool. now. Cool. All right. Loadout of the week. This is going to be my own personal loadout. I'm actually going to be using the um, the newest weapon that we just got, that uh, Commando Rocket Launcher. Uh, I used it for a good hour and a half this morning, putting it to the test, seeing what it could do, what it can't do. Uh, it's a solid weapon. And I know our buddy Christ said that it's a bug weapon. I completely disagree. <laughs> Comple- I could not disagree more with him on that. I think this is a, a bot weapon because... It sidewinds, like it'll target things. Mm-hmm. Like even if you're slightly off, it'll it'll. Well, that when you have the blue beam on, yeah, you that's a, that's a guided missile. Yes, it'll, it'll go wherever you tell it to. Ah, I love that. You, you can move it around. It's it's basically four anti tank uh, missiles. I, th- and, I I took out a Hulk with with, with one. yeah. I think it took two shots, but I still took, took one. Yeah, it'll take two shots, but you have four. Yeah, so it's like. I think it's great. I, I have a great time with it. Uh, we took down a Strider mm-hmm. with it. I knocked both of its guns out. Yep. And the top tank, the the top turret. <clears throat> so you you completely neuter the Strider by yeah. with just one one armament of that. And the sh- reload time is super short. Mm-hmm. You have another one ready to go as soon as you're done with that one. It's it's great. I love this weapon. I think it might actually replace the airburst rocket launcher for me. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the airburst because because my question was 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 with the commando. That's what this is called is the commando. Mm-hmm. From you know, based on the Arnie, the Arnie movie, yeah. which is one thing I just love about this this Arrowhead is they <laughs> the, the references, the references, yeah. <laughs> um, but is this thing worth taking up a stratagem slot? Yes, your loadout, a hundred percent. I'm gonna because be, the, there's a debate out there that it's really not I, because there's other things that are better. I mean, there's always say. look. Th- this is a stupid argument. I right. hate when people do this. Oh well, this one's technically better. They all have strengths. Uh-huh. Yep, and they all have weaknesses. Mm-hmm. Depending on what you're doing and what role you're playing in your right. squad, you take the appropriate weapon. Mm-hmm. If you're looking to just lay down some hellfire, you bring in the auto cannon. If yep. you're looking to do some real damage, you bring the recoilless. Because right. that, that'll take down most things in one, maybe two shots. The rocket launcher, I can't wait to yeah. find a gunship. I'm going to use that shit against gunships. Because oh, yeah. if, it's, if it's guided, yeah. And I just put the blue beam on that. I think thing. I still think I heard that it takes two to knock down a gunship. Maybe, maybe not. It depends because I took down and a. That, uh, and that's where and that's where people are going. It's like, well, if you if you can knock a gunship down with a laser cannon, then use that. You know, everything has strengths and weaknesses. Right. This argument that like one thing is better than another doesn't I love, drive with me. I love that they're we're getting to the point now where we can have completely different types of builds depending on your play style. Yeah. You have a fire guy. You have a laser guy. Dutch butters. Is a laser guy. <laughs> I, I didn't think I would ever be that way, but I am. I like my, my guard dog rover. Yeah. My laser. I got my, my laser cannon. I got my sickle. Sickle, you're an energy-based you know, guy. Like, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's weird, you know, but, but you know, I, but I love the fact that if you want to be a rocket dude, grenade rocket guy, well, guess what? Now you got your, your, your commando. And it takes, and, down, it, it takes down factories. Yeah. In one shot. It doesn't and even you, have, and, Don't have to go through the vent. Don't have to go through the vent. <laughs> I'm like, I could take down four factories with like one mile loadout away. from yeah, a mile. Yeah. Dude, come on. Easy. How Sounds is this? Super fun. Yeah, these, I don't, I don't get, well, it's not that great. Then use something else, man. Yeah. Like, it's, it's okay. Go be a fire bug. <laughs> yeah. You know, go be a laser dude. <laughs> whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Pick whatever you want. <laughs> um, I kind of screwed up the loadout of the week. But anyway, I usually run Tenderizer, uh, the 10 the round pistol sidearm, uh, it's the Halo gun, whatever it's Senator? called. Not the Senator, the other one, the Vindicator or something like that. Oh. I can't remember. Um, and then for I, uh, impact grenades are clutch, they, they still remain See? top tier. Yeah. Um, unless you're going to roll with st- the stun grenades. Yeah. A great combination if you're going to run stun grenades, pack the orbital strike mm-hmm. because you can stun a Hulk and throw the orbital strike. And before it starts moving again, yeah, pop that. I I feel like spit on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hot to it. Hot to it. <laughs> um, I uh, 
Is that your loadout? Is that like that's my loadout? That like that's the, my the that's my loadout? bot loadout for for salty. Yeah, I think I, a, I like it. Um, I usually run at least one eagle, whether yeah. it's a cluster or the the rocket pods, one of the two, um, orbital strike and the rail cannon. I feel like I'm in a bit of a rut with Dutch butters right now. Same, be, same loadout because because I end up I'm, I'm, I have a default loadout. Mm -hmm. It's the Dutch. You've butters always had default. a default loadout, but it's 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 like I said earlier. It's the laser shoulder mount. It's the shoulder laser. Yeah. It's the sickle. It's the it's the guard dog laser rover. It's laser orbital laser and it's um eagle just a plain eagle strike and I wear the medium armor with plus two grenades yeah. and I got the grenade. Grenade pistol. Grenade pistol. You've always had like a yeah. default loadout though. Like yeah. early on, it was the shield pack and the and the quasar cannon. Mm -hmm. Like you've you've always stuck I, with like yeah. this is my jam. Yeah, and it's fun to play, but I feel like I'm in a bit of a rut. I need to change it up. I bought the uh, plasma, the scorcher. Is, is that what it's called? The yeah. plasma scorcher. Could, yeah, that gun with like the weird little. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, it's fun to take out the chicken walkers with that. The chicken walkers. Yeah. Holy shit! Super. Because I, I just started playing with it a little bit this morning, and you're all. Thunk. <laughs> and they just they just instantly fall down dead yeah, it's, it's cool it's super fun but um yeah. last thing that we want to do is you want to read some comments from we, got some, we got some viewer comments from last from last i'll week. let you take this away because these are some bangers i mean these are like i, th I think we we should read some viewer you comments guys suck <laughs> you, you know um why why do a podcast and tell people to comment if we're not going to like reply to some fair enough comments? so um let's just look at the first one here um from Mom, 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 I, I can't even, you know, come on, man, Dude, be a, put some effort in your mom, names. QABT, mom, QABT, mom, whatever. Um, come back in a few months when you have two war bonds to grind out. This is something that you said. I said that. Yeah. Because, you know, we were telling people, you know, come back, take a break, come back when there's something to grind out. Yeah. So she says, come back in a few months when you have two war bonds to grind out. I don't want to grind. I want to have fun. Some skins, armor, and uninteresting side grades that don't feel that much different aren't all worth the grind. Well, you know, and don't grind. That's your and opinion, just have some man. fun. It's just, you know. That's the thing. I don't want to grind. I want to have fun. Okay, then go have fun. That's great. <laughs> you know. It's okay. You don't have to grind. <laughs> you're, you're, you don't have to do shit. You just won't ever get all the stuff. <laughs> You know, if you don't want to grind the game, I mean, you, you, you got to have something in the game. to. You got to have something in the game to work for. There's a game loop for a reason. That's right. That's right. Do it. But, uh, you know, Sorry. Thanks, thanks for the comment. Thanks, Happy man. you watched. Um, you know, I hope you're enjoying the game. Um, <laughs> this and, next one's hilarious. Andrew Mo 1192 You guys are always full of negativity. It's like, what? We're negative? I'm not negative. I'm not negative at all. Shut up and play or shut up and play something else. <laughs> Stop your crying. All games lose players as time goes on. Get over it. I can't tell if he's like, quoting us. I, yeah, I can't. I, I don't know what the context is. I, I want to say, um, yeah, he's probably right for people who feel that way, but I don't feel that way. And, um, you know, uh, I'm not crying. I play every day. I play all the time. I play every chance I can. Probably more than I should. Um, I don't know. You get over it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that, that was just it was a weird i thought it was a weird comment you know it was i don't get i don't understand and I, I don't know if it are was we negative at us or, or is he telling other people that they're negative i don't feel like we're negative i feel like it, the, the most negative things i say are people to be you know be, be patient. patient you know play the game don't, don't, don't be so impatient you know if you need to take a little break you pick some good ones and go touch some grass <laughs> I did. It, it's okay. I took a break. You did. You did. You took a whole week. I did. You went up to a big lake and swam around with crawdads and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Touched some grass. You touched some grass. Oh, God. And, next uh, one. You want to read the next one? From Atzi. Yeah, go ahead. 10 hours ago. Yeah. I don't understand complaining about vacation. Okay. <laughs> so their favorite games dev team is on vacation and doesn't update the game? <laughs> Why don't they go on vacation too then? <laughs> Are they stupid? <laughs> Um, I did go just, on vacation. Just did go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> and I went on vacation the week before that. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, that's for exactly what week. I did. It's what we did. I didn't play the game yeah. at all for like five days. Yeah. I came back. I missed a complete MO. I, I missed everything. I came back and I'm now I've got new ship upgrades, yep. a new weapon to play around mm -hmm. with, and a whole bunch of stuff to grind for. So, sweet. Quit being so negative. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please time. quit being so negative? You are time. bringing me down. Okay, man. You're bringing me down. Uh, all right. Yeah, man. 
No, look, I'm having a good time with the game, and yeah. I'm happy that after I took my vacation, <laughs> that I came back and there's a bunch of new shit for me to play with. So, cool. For real. I'm good with that. Uh, it seems like there's probably enough on my plate now in the game to last at least July, and then when the dev team comes back, they'll probably be... We got, we got at least four more weeks of grinding. At least. And I, I, mean, have, I, have about, I have about a single one of these new upgrades. <sighs> Here's another so. thing, too, is like, uh, if you're the type of player who only runs nines and you collect super samples every single time and you complete everything 100%, no time at all. then great, man. You're going to knock this shit out in like three days. That's not the game's fault. Nope. It's going to take me at least a month to grind all this shit mm -hmm. up. And that's if I'm hustling. Yeah. Because I can only play a couple hours a night, if that. So, yeah. yeah. But, 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 it's and, pl and, it's and, plenty of work for me. Yeah. I get it. In, in all serious, though, yeah. um, just enjoy the game. I hope we say this every week. Enjoy the game. Just enjoy the game. Have, Have fun. fun. You know, if if you don't if you burn out, take a break. We need to talk about 40K. Oh, we do. Space yeah. Marine 2. Space Marine 2. That's a great last topic. Okay. I've seen it marketed as on social media. The Hell Divers Killer. Oh boy. I love it when I love and it when these game companies these, start. This doing game, yeah, shit. seriously. 40K. It's, it's like I, I mean my brain immediately goes, the next MMO is gonna be the big World of Warcraft killer. Yeah. And everybody's like Fuck you. I'll play it for two weeks. and then So Space we'll Marines but is essentially a squad-based third-person shooter strategy sh yep. game uh, where you have a squad. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's four or more. Do you I think remember? it's three. Is it only three? I think it's three. Ooh. Yeah. So it's a little weird. Okay. Right? Anyway. Don't quote me on that. Don't, yeah, I don't please, know either. But anyway, I haven't played but, it yet. But what so. this game does is it does force you to pick a role. Mm -hmm. So each person has to have their specific yeah. role, whether they're a medic or tank or whatever. Um. But essentially, I, think there, I think there's six different classes in there that you can kind of play with. You know more than I do. Yeah, I, I'm just for just the brief trailer that I watched. Yeah, um, the game looks dope. It looks, really it looks good. good. The trailers look great. I don't I don't yeah. know what the gameplay is going to be like. I don't know what boots on the ground is going to feel like. But I'm going to test it out. Yeah, we're uh, definitely I'm hoping that like you will too. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And we'll probably talk about it. We'll probably do like some kind of a review. Talk about the game once it does come out. We'll we'll play it. We'll get our A team over there to play it with us. Yep. And, and we'll just kind of test it out and let you guys know what we think. Is it really a Helldivers killer? Is this going to be a 40K Marine podcast from now on? No. Probably not. But we are going to <laughs> ex expand our, uh, our horizon. horizons a little bit. You know, we like, we like squad-based tactical games. I think we do. I think that's kind of our jam. And, and the and, summer um, sale on Steam just came out, and well, we both purchased the original Helldivers. We did, yeah. Uh, and there was another game that you purchased that I, I grabbed, too. Was it um, the medieval one? Oh, Gauntlet. 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 That's just a remake of the old arcade game that I played when I was a kid. Okay. I've never heard of it before. Yeah. I watched the trailer. It looks fun. Yeah, it does look fun. I'm not usually a top-down. What is today? Today is Tuesday the 9th. The The Steam sale goes on until the 11th. The 11th. Yeah. So we still have a couple days. Yeah. You, so like you got tomorrow, basically. Sure. So. I'm down. But anyway, that's it for the podcast today, guys. Uh, comment below your thoughts on the new stratagem, the new weapons, the new ship upgrades. Let us know what you think. Uh, I'm enjoying all of them. I think they look great i yeah. think uh i'm gonna have fun grinding out these samples that's the big thing too is like you can win missions and get xp but if you don't escape with all those samples then the yeah. whole thing is Very for important. nothing uh so that'll be nothing, fun nothing worse than getting killed when you're going up the steps of the oh god pelican dude. one and you drop you all one samples. life left and you got like 17 <laughs> samples and you die and you're like Fuck. yeah that's real that's why uh you know when you're at when you're at pelican one it's there just get it. <laughs> Quit fucking around. You know who I'm talking you to. You hate it. When you know who do I'm that. talking to. You hate it. You no, know, I'm, I'm looking right at you, my friend. <laughs> Just getting the goddamn bird so we can get up to the ship. Okay, let's go. I love it. Nah, guys, you got to go out with some fireworks, man. No, no, put you don't. Five hundred K right there. Fireworks when you're like getting off the ship at the end, and you're all doing your pose. You know what? On the end, I always go back to the gambler from <laughs> Kenny Rogers. You gotta, you gotta know when to fold them. Uh, don't count your chips until yeah. the game is over. There'll be plenty of time to count yeah. after the round. It's real. All right. All right, man. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate it. Everybody, thanks for watching. Really do uh, love you guys. Uh, SaltyNerdDiscord.com if you want to join up in a great community and uh, squad up with some high-level players. That's the place to go. All right, folks. See you next week. Peace.